Hey what's up traders, welcome back to Forex Gym. my name is George and in this video I'm going to be analyzing three currency pairs plus the S&P 500. Before we jump into the charts, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. I'm making daily and weekly Forex analyses as well as videos about the knowledge you need to be a better trader. Now we can start with the charts. Starting with the dollar Canada, you saw against Canadian dollar from the daily chart. Uh, this pair is in a quite a bit of a chop face right now. Let's drill down to the four hourly chart. Uh, we can see that it, it is turning on the short time frames, it is turning to the more of a downside than on the long side, but that's only for the short term trades. So I'm looking for this currency to go have a further more downside up until where this weekly pivot is. And I'm gonna uh, go through with this step by step. So we can see that the price came down and broken this upper um, channel here, which was already broken, but it's returned, they tested it a couple of times and then uh, it has broken for the last four hour candle. So if we go to the an hourly charts, this is kind of uh, cleaning towards the downside, uh, but on a long term view, are still looking at the uh, long side play. But for the short one, I will be looking to sell it down to this, where this daily S2 is, which is at the same level, almost at the same level as this weekly pivot, which is at 142.98 zone around that area. So what I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for this price to push a little bit higher. I've got the marker up here that it um, notifies me if the uh, price gets up to this zone. And that zone is, let's have a look, around up here, that's why I'm looking at 144.25 zone. The reason why we have these uh, lows here and highs. So there's a quite a bit of um, quite a bit of resistance on there, and we, it is close to this um, channel here. Even though it's been tested several times, but because they all together, uh, it is uh, stronger. And also, this is a four hourly, which is this four hourly high as well. This spike, and we got this low, which is um, yeah, this similar to the uh, one hourly. But when it's together combined, that is uh, stronger. So that's why I'm looking at this as of the getting entry price, which the level is let's call it at 144. 25 area as of the stop losses uh, you can use let's go to the one only charts so 25 45 you can get away with 20 to 25 pip stop uh, 20 you can easily get away with a 20 pip stop and for the the target would be down at one Around 14300, uh, the same as yeah, same as this weekly pivot. So 14300, that's about 100 pips. Just uh, no, it's about 120 pips. So if you take a risk at 20 or 25 pips, that gives you a good uh, one to three, more than one to three risk reward. So it's pretty good. You can even take a 30 pip. Um, stop loss if you want but as you know I like to keep my stops tight and that gives me a good risk reward on it. We continue with the Aussie against US dollar starting with a daily chart. This price, this pair is uh, trying to push higher but it's not very clear though where it is really heading. Uh, this one looks like more like a retracement but because it put this this um, ugly candles and now it's pushing higher but if we go to look at the shorter time frames the price is does not really demonstrating um, no strength that enough that he wants to push uh, and go higher or not much of a weakness if it wants to go and collapse down and continue to the bigger trend so this is a four hourly chart and this is kind of it's trying to push but it does not really um, shows much of a strength. This is an hourly chart where we can see the, the candles is um, all over the place really. So let's have a look at the opportunities. I want to see this one either pushing higher depending which way it wants to go. If it pushes higher that would be I want to see this one that it 
uh, breaks these highs here got these highs here which is about 40 pips away or at least to demonstrate some strength now we can see this putting this um, the doji candles and it doesn't really shows a much uh, we can see this uh, the hammer candle and the, this hammer so it doesn't really shows uh, much of the uh, strength wise so either it will break these four hourly highs or demonstrates uh, more strength like the similar candle to this four hourly one then i will be jumping into the uh, long side after that then you can ride down to this up to this uh, weekly r1 will be a good target or it starts collapsing down and ideally starts breaking this daily pivot then i will be looking to the short side as of the first target will be down to this low as well so this daily s1 is at 50 5895 roughly and then potentially for for the further downside uh, but so far uh, it needs to do a one of uh, one of the either break up or break down about for the scalping let's go to the 15 minute chart there's good opportunities for scalp trading uh, for now i want to see if the price wants to go down there i want to see this one the price come down here where this weekly four hourly so let's say and does not uh, shows big candles uh, much strength they will collapse uh, and i want to see a bit of a retracement up to these this 15 minute high then i will be going to the short side uh, where about this four hourly s1 is which is same as down to these lows down to this spike low and we have also this um hold on let's reanalyze now that will be a bit further down than the four hourly s1 it will be about 59 40 zone we got down to this low it comes with a spike and we got this low down here as well so that will be the four hourly uh, just further down to the four hourly s1 which is close to this um, 15 minute low down here and as of the stop losses uh, you do not need much really about 15 pips would do next currency us dollar against a japanese yen starting with a daily chart i did mention on i think last week that i do see this currency come up to these highs here and i do see still i got the same view but now this uh, this pair is uh, messing around a, uh, quite a bit for the last uh since the la mid last week we put in these uh, weird candles but i do see still is going up however it's it likes to uh, mess around because of the orders now and i will explain this is a four hourly chart and uh, let me explain what's going on here let me bring up the pen so when the price came up and hit the resistance we can see that it has this retracement and then it came back up and we can see that this high is marginally higher than this high so it took out this high now we had the same retracement and the price came all the way back up and took out this high you can see that also this high is marginally higher than this high and after that it did the same thing it retraced and then came back up and took out the high of this so it's always the the marginal it's making marginal new highs and we can see this one and now possibly the price is going to do the exact same things we're going to come up and take out this high in here so making marginal new highs that generally signals that the price is weakening and it can turn around and go to the south uh, however because we have we have this um good nice trend up uh, but now we're seeing these uh, these kind of moves on the four hourly chart which can potentially um, go down but i don't just take this one as um i'm just not shorting it straight away i know some people when they do that or i think this one also going to be a rsi divergence if you're using rsi uh, you know what i'm talking about so i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people uh, shorted on this kind of occasion but 
the price is still not giving up it, it might even want to push even higher so that's why i want to see the confirmation see what price wants to do if um, if it wants to go higher and hit that daily for this one at this daily high which is at 11200 almost just about 11200 price even wants to come up and take out this this daily high which i'm hoping but i do want to see uh, more confirmation if it wants to do that and the only way would be if um, we see a more strength and definitely showing break of these highs and closing nicely uh, bullish nice bullish candles like similar to uh, this candle this bullish candle here then i would be definitely getting to that long side to this daily high and take out of so the first target will be at 11200 and the second target will be just about when it's going to take out this high which is another 25 pips uh, however if the price wants to go down then i want to see at least starting to for the very minimum breaking these down to this low here we, we got this spike i want to see this break of this low then uh, for now i'll be looking for the short term to go to the short sides and then if the price comes down and break this low then I will be switching for the longer term view to the short side certainly if it starts breaking this weekly pivot then uh, it will be for sure lastly we've got s p 500 starting with a daily chart again we can see that uh, the s p 500 lost uh, a lot and now we see that the price is kind of pushing up uh, last two days we have this a uh, nice bullish candles but this is only a retracement of this big trend let's go to the shorter time frames and uh, that said um i do see this one to push a little bit higher i am expecting for this one to go up to almost where these highs are and 20 around 25 20 zone 25 25 zone i do want to see this one taking out this spike uh, high here which is this candle there i do want to see this uh, so this is a good another 100 pip opportunity um so this the short term one is going up and i do want to see a follow through the price came up to this four hourly highs and also we have this a weekly r1 so it tested it and this one had a mild reaction towards a downside so i do think that it has a bit more strength to push up let's go to the hourly chart i do want to see this to come retrace a bit down and test this uh, daily pivot i will be looking to get onto the long side give it a try if the price uh, wants after that to push higher but well, certainly there is a potential but over the long uh, term i definitely see this one to go even further down for now we can see that this uh, weekly charts the um, these candles going down and now this is just a retracement as of for now this is only a retracement um, of course price can just uh, keep continue and go up but as the, the way it looks like now then it will uh, want to uh, go even more down well we see how it's gonna work out with this coronavirus and what's going on around the world and that's gonna dictate uh, how the SP is gonna uh, behave but for now I do see this uh, do this see this one to uh, want to go a bit higher have a bit a longer retracement so for another hundred roughly about 100 pips so I want to see this one, the price to come down at, um, let's say, 23.90 zone. And then I will be looking to short it if it gives me a setup. So as of the stop-wise, 30 to 40 pips on this one for the stop-wise. And again, for the target-wise would be this daily R1, which is close to this four-hourly um, four hourly highs, this one here. And we got this and a weird uh, low here uh, but mainly it will take out this spike of uh, four hourly high here which i'm aiming for so roughly we're looking for about 100 pips 
on that. Thank you guys for watching. This was Daily Forex Analysis for 25th of March 2020. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm making daily and weekly Forex Analysis as well as videos about the knowledge you need to be a better trader. Also, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments or you can reach me via my social media accounts. The link's gonna be in the description. Have a great day and I will see you guys in my next video.